ba da 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 ba da 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 Hey, I need you to be happier and you, I need you to be excited. Da 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 Hi there boys and girls! Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling. My name is Duane. And tomorrow is a very special day. It's National Day! Our nation celebrates its 55th birthday. Happy National Day! Well, I was just teaching my friends here some of the old National Day songs that I learned as a kid. Do you remember any? What about this? <clears throat> this is home, truly, where I know I must be. Where my dreams wait for me, where the river always flows. Remember that one? Home, that's right. Okay, what about another one? You can take a little trip around Singapore town in a Singapore city bus. Ba -ba! <laughs> that's right. Okay, um, another one. We are Singapore, we are Singapore. We will stand together, hear the lion roar. That's one of my favorites. Well, one song that I really, really like is called Singapura. It goes like this. Singapura, oh Singapura. Sunny island set in the sea. Singapura, oh Singapura. Pretty flowers bloom for you and me. Hey, did you know that Singapore was once called Singapura? Many, many years ago when it was first discovered? Well, today's story, I'm going to share with you how Singapore got its name, Singapura. This is the story of Sangnila Utama and the discovery of Singapura. Once upon a time, long, long ago, but not too far away, there lived a prince. And he lived in the city of Palembang, somewhere in Indonesia. Now, his name was Sangnila Utama. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Sangnila Utama, and I am a prince. I come from royalty. Oh, do you know what that means, boys and girls? Well, that means my father is the king, and that makes me his son, a prince. <laughs> so I come from royalty. I am one of three brothers. But unlike my brothers, I like to go out. I like a good adventure. I like to explore and discover new islands. Would you like to sail with me on my boat and discover new islands, boys and girls? <laughs> Did you know I discovered the island of Bintan? I hear that they have transformed this Bintan island into a holiday destination for tourists. There are sandy white beaches, beautiful palm trees swaying in the breeze, blue crystal clear waters. <laughs> okay, now back to the story, boys and girls. Sangnila was on the island of Bintan. He was trying to discover what else was around the island. Let's see. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> By the way, I'm using my binoculars that I made with toilet rolls. Check it out! Have you ever seen a binoculars before, boys and girls? Do you know what a binoculars does? Well, it's really cool. It's like a viewing instrument that when you look through it, things that are far away and really small appear bigger, larger, and nearer to you. Well, think about it as a pair of magnifying glasses or the zoom function in your camera or your phone. So things that are far away can suddenly appear bigger and larger in size and nearer to you. For example, this will come in really handy when you're at the stadium watching a football match and all the players are really tiny because you're way far behind and right on top. So if you look through your binoculars, the players will seem nearer and larger than they actually are. Or if you are at the bird park and you are trying to look out for some rare species of birds, but they're so far away, you look through your binoculars, you'll be able to see them much clearer. Ooh, there's one over there. Well, so 
Sangnila Utama used his binoculars to explore the surrounding islands. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly, he noticed something across the sea. <gasps> what is that? Hmm. This is an island with white sandy beaches. It has banana trees and coconut trees and palm trees all around the island. And it has blue crystal clear waters and it is sun facing. What island is that? How come I've not discovered it yet? Now one of his men said, uh, Your Majesty, that is the island called Tamasic. Tamasic? I've never heard of Tamasic. Ah, gentlemen, do you know what this means? It means we are going on an adventure to discover the island of Tamasic. If you're ready, pack your bags, load up the boat, and we're going to go to Tamasic. Boys and girls, would you like to go on this journey with me? Well, so Sangnila Utama and his men started to pack their bags, load up the boat, and get ready for the journey to Tamasic. Hey, boys and girls, I know now we're not allowed to travel, but no one can stop us from imagining that we can go on a journey. So if we were to go on a trip, on a journey with Sangnila Utama on this boat, what can we bring along with us? What would you pack in your bags? Well, I've got my bag here. That's a first. Okay, we can put a lot of things in this really huge bag. And I've got my travel mate with me, little buddy. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so what do you think we're going to need on our trip? Food. We're going to need a lot of food because we're really, really hungry. So I've got my tamago sushi over here. It's going to fill me up. Uh, I've got a giant ota over here. This will be good because there are a lot of people on board the boat. Okay, I'm gonna stuff it in. And um, I might get a bit lonely at night, so I would like to bring my stuffed toy with me. A bumblebee! Oh, doesn't he look jolly, this jolly bee? Okay, I'm gonna stuff it inside my bag. Okay, what else do we think we need? Oh, what about this hat to shade us from the sun? Whew. Okay, let's put it in there. Ugh, it's a very big bag. Now, boys and girls, what do you think Sangnila Utama would have brought on his trip? Let me zip it up. Okay, it's a really big bag, boys and girls, and I have so many things in this bag. Okay, I think we're all set. Now, Sangnila Utama and his men will probably bring a few more things with them, like weapons, just in case they're wild animals and they need to go hunting. So he's got his Oh, an arrow ready. Let's see if this works, okay? Dun, 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 It works. <laughs> and what about his barang? Just in case they need to bash their way through the thick jungle. Okay, let's put it into the bag. And I think we are ready for our trip. So what do we need now? We need a boat. Boys and girls, are you ready? We're going to sail across the sea to the island of Tamasic. Tamasic! Let's go get onto the boat. So, Sangnila Utama went on his boat, got onto the sea, and sailed off across the sea to the other side where Tamasic was. While well, on the boat, he looked around. It was beautiful. The scenery was spectacular. The water was clear. There were animals in the water, swimming fishes. I think there were some swordfish that were swimming in the water. Whew. And look at this little birdie over here. Hello. What? The swordfish? <gasps> okay, we just got to be careful they don't come near us. <laughs> okay, cool. But suddenly, while they were sailing on the sea, the weather took a turn. Oh no. The sky suddenly became darker. Dark clouds filled the sky. There was thunder. Okay, I've got my little rainmaker here. A thunder maker. Oh, it doesn't look too good. The sky suddenly burst open and it started to rain. Oh, and the waves started to become choppier. Whoa. 
the people on board the boat were panicking because when the waves hit the boat one side, all of them tumbled to the other side of the boat. Splash! Whoa! Splash! Whoa! Forward! Splash! Whoa! Back! Whoa! Sometimes the wave would lift the boat high up and drop it down like a roller coaster. Whoa! Splash! Whoa! Oh, oh. Boys and girls, let's all pretend we're on the boat now, okay? The waves are gonna hit us from this side, so wherever you are, I want you to tumble over to that side. Ready? Here comes a huge wave. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Whoa, splash. Whoa. Another one's coming from that way. Splash. Whoa. It's coming from behind. Splash. Whoa. And it's coming from the front. Whoa. And one huge wave that is going to lift the boat up into the air. Whoa, splash. Now everybody was feeling seasick. They wanted to throw up. Blech. Blech. Things were flying all over the place from the sea. Things were flying into the boat. Ooh. What's this? A fish? Blech. Oh, a lobster? <laughs> oh. A Patrick? Oh, no, what do we do? What do we do? Now, Sangnila Utama kept his calm. He knew there must be something that they could do. Ah, what if the boat was too heavy? They would have to take things from the boat and throw it into the sea to lighten the boat. Okay, boys and girls, what shall we throw? Okay, um, this hat. Do we think we really need this hat? Yes, no? No? Here we go. Okay, um, this barang, it might make a hole inside, so here we go. Bow and arrow. No, nah, it's too heavy too. Okay, my bee, my bumblebee that I can't sleep with at night. No. Be free, fly! Okay, oh, there's a lot of food. There's too much food. I don't think anybody wants to eat. Everybody's going seasick. Throw, ah! Oh no, let me save my friend first. Okay, you are going on this trip with me. Now this bag is way too heavy. Gotta go, bye! Oh no, but the waves were still going at it. The storm was still storming down. The rain was still pouring. Boys and girls, what can they do? What? Throw his crown? Throw Sangnila Utama's crown into the water? Are you sure, boys and girls? Would that work? Well, let's find out. Sangnila was on top of the boat. He didn't know what to do. Suddenly, one of his men said, Your Majesty, your crown, your crown, maybe it's too heavy. Sangnila Utama took the crown in his hand. He looked at it. It was a very precious jewels that were on it. It was very expensive. He thought, if I throw it into the sea, maybe he could be a gift to the sea to calm and appease the sea and the storm. And it is quite heavy as well. So boys and girls, are you ready? We're going to throw the crown into the sea. Ready? One, two, I can't do it. Do you think I should? Do you think it will really work? Okay. One, two, three. Splash! The crown sunk deep into the sea, right down to the seabed, and immediately the waves calmed down. It was not choppy anymore. The rain stopped pouring. There was no more thunder. The clouds cleared, and it was clear skies, and the sun shone through. Wow! Now Sangnila Utama and his men could sail safely to the island of to Masik. And what a beautiful island it was. He looked around the island. There were coconut trees and banana trees all around. There was white sandy beaches and the sea. It was beautiful crystal clear sea with lots of fish swimming around. This would make a great fishing port. The sun was blazing so bright in the sky that it was so hot he was perspiring profusely. Woo! Now, it was time to explore the island. Okay, just as he was about to start exploring this island of Tamasic, he heard a loud roar. roar. You want to try it with me, boys and girls? One, two, three. Roar. He looked around. Oh, what was it? Then he noticed, perched on top of a rock, there was a huge beast. Oh, 
This beast had a huge orange, yellow, golden mane. It has a strong, muscular, brown body and was perching over there going, Rrrr. Boys and girls, what beast do you think was on the rock? What? A dinosaur? Maybe? A, a gorilla? Rrrr. No? An orangutan! Rrrr. Well, Sangnila Utama had no clue what this beast was. And so he asked this man, what is this beast so majestic and so fierce sitting on the rock going Rrrr. His man said, Your Majesty, I think that is a lion. A lion? Wow, a lion. I've never seen a lion before. Sangni Lautama wanted to chase after this lion and find out more about this lion. But the lion leaped off the rock and ran deep into the jungle. <laughs> deep into the jungle and disappeared. Sangnila Utama thought, okay, lion, hmm, interesting. He looked around the island and saw this would be a beautiful island to develop a city. I mean, white sandy beaches, a good location, the sea teeming with fish, it will be a great fishing port or a trading port. Now, if I can develop a city here, what shall I call this city? Roar. Lion. City. Roar. Lion. City. And so Sangnila Utama decided to call the island Singapura, which means Lion City in Malay. Singa means lion in Malay, and Pura means city. And so that day, the island of Tamasic was called Singa Pura. And Sangnila Utama continued to develop this city, and he ruled in that island for the next 48 years after which he passed away and he was buried up on the hill, which we now know as the Fort Canning Hill. And boys and girls, that is how our island of Tamasic was given its name Singapura, all thanks to the brave and adventurous spirit of Sangnila Utama and him being inspired by that majestic animal, the lion. Roar. The end. <laughs> well, it's not really the end because years later, Singapura was handed over to the British, led by Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles, who changed our name to the city of Singapore. He and many leaders continued to let Singapore to where it is now, our modern city, Singapore. And today, since it's National Day, I'd like to wish every Singaporean here and everybody in Singapore a happy National Day. Here's wishing you health, happiness, prosperity, and many happy years together. Happy National Day! <laughs> if you enjoyed today's story, please click like and subscribe to our channel. For more updates on Gateway Kids Club activities, as well as our new weekly arts and craft projects, please head down to our Facebook or Instagram. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program and your donation helps to keep this club running, as well as support artists like myself. To donate, please see the link below or visit our website. See you next week for more exciting stories from Singapore and around the region. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, why are these... Ow! Oh, no!